What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awaken Toast here, and today, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be starting off the lobby just to get some bots, because I want to try a little bit of a different style. Because recently, as you guys have been seeing, I've been doing a lot more videos on contractors. But the number one thing is, I want to make sure I'm making content that you guys can both enjoy, and that I also enjoy editing. So my question to you is, right off the start here, do you guys enjoy more of like the live commentary type of style, where I just kind of feature the gameplay and play it as it is? Or would you rather see a lot more edits and a lot more cuts in between a lot of the commentary space? Because for the most part, as you guys know, I usually just kind of feature the full-length gameplay and just kind of roll with it. I don't really have a big issue just, you know, sitting and yapping. But I know for some people, they want more of like that fast-paced action and just, you know, a bit of a shorter video. So let me know if you guys want longer videos or shorter content when it comes down to this contractor style. Because obviously, I have other videos that I typically do on the channel that are usually a bit longer. And honestly, man, when it comes down to it, I want to do a lot more content on contractors. And if you guys are really enjoying it, I want to make sure I make it to the best of my ability and, you know, basically push as much, I guess, content that I enjoy doing and what I'm feeling. Basically, I just want to know your guys' opinions on what you would like to see in terms of this content because what are you doing, you big man? You big body man? I just got obliterated. I'm still kind of mixed on exactly kind of what direction I want to take my contractor's content because a part of me likes the idea of just showing all of the content that you can see, like, throughout the game. You know what I mean? Like, you get a full experience of, like, someone who does play VR or someone who doesn't. They can see what exactly Contractors has to offer. And to me, that's just super entertaining. But another part of me wants to kind of get more into, like, that high-paced action and just kind of show the crazy clips and just, you know, basically the big moments of commentary, if that makes sense. There's just something about it that reminds me so much of what I used to do back in the Call of Duty scene. And with that being said, oh my god, I almost died to that. Freaking bot! Oh my god, I should have switched to my pistol. Man, I'm gonna go in the doghouse. What the freak? Ah! I'm gonna grenade him. Eat this grenade, you big idiot. Uh, oh no! There's another guy behind me. Oh god. Can I leave? Please? Get me out of here. I'm so scared. I'm literally versing bots. And my tiblets are shaking. Oh god. Wait, what? What was that? Huh? 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 Okay, that was the weirdest thing I think I've seen in this entire game. That man just died by a ghost. Throwy knife! Well, also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that... What the... <laughs> what the... What was... Just... Okay, I don't know what I just walked in on, but, uh... I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Apparently, they got a cult that they're forming or something. I don't know. There's something going on that I've completely missed. So... Uh... That's great. I have never seen that in the history of my entire life. Oh my god, the one Tapparino. Even if we're bursting bots, I don't care, man. That was dope. And I'm not gonna lie, most of the time I like to do these bot runs off the start just to kind of like warm up my aim and get used to everything. I used to do this type of stuff when I really wanted to, uh, you know, warm up for my Call of Duty videos and stuff. And it translates a lot more to also VR. Also, not to mention, I want to do a video covering this freaking... Oh, I'm out of ammo! Big thing is, I really want to cover a video on this Black Ops 3 pack, and I just haven't had the chance to really get full lobbies on it. So if you guys want to see some more videos on the Black Ops 3 pack, this is definitely something I would like to do. You guys are having pathing issues. Please just move. Move yourselves. Yeah, split. God, this dark matter looks freaking gorgeous, my dude. Oh my god. Why do these cameras look like this amazing? I just want to make a huge shout out to every freaking mod developer out there that goes and creates these amazing freaking mods for contractors. Without you, we would be nowhere, man. A lot of my enjoyment in this game comes down to the fact that people have made these Call of Duty mods and continue making maps, different weapons. I mean, literally anything, man. Like, these Call of Duty mods are just so well done and thought out. Like, especially that sniper pack, man. I've been playing that a lot recently, and it has been a really, really good time. What is happening here? Hello? Like, how long until people start developing, like, a advanced warfare mod or something, you know? Like, I'm just waiting for the day where we can actually have, like, exosuits and, like, punch other people and they go flying away from, like, the exosuits. Like, oh my god, that'd be so freaking sick, man. Like, honestly, advanced warfare... As much as people hated the EXO movement, CODs and whatever, which, I mean, to reach their own, there's definitely a community that loves EXO movement and then a community that doesn't like them, you know? I was definitely one of the people that really enjoyed it because it added a whole different skill ceiling to the way people move. 
and it was just super fun to me and honestly man i feel like those games got a lot more flack than what they really deserved like advanced warfare honestly man was like probably one of my favorite exo cods with the amount of progression that you had in it the competitive scene i mean dude there was just so much stuff on it and like the verticality them oh what am i doing oh i put the wrong megan yeah whatever yippee, 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 yippee. wait what is am i okay you are here i was like where in the ball sacks did that man just run? The crazy part is, I don't think I've ever played this map, even in the original Modern Warfare 2. It looks so good. The first time I actually played this was, funny enough, with the H2M mod. And if you guys don't know what H2M is, it was basically a fan-made Call of Duty that got shut down by Activision themselves. They're basically like, hey, you know that fun thing that you're creating for the community? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. So they basically said, uh-uh, nosies, okay? You don't get to do that. We gotta have people focusing on the new CODs, not your COD. And, uh, yeah. So the files basically got, like, shut down and whatever. Like, people couldn't distribute it legally. But, uh, obviously, there was a lot of people still going out of their way to go and basically provide that for the community if you wanted to go and still play H2M. And, uh, yeah, so for H2M, I had the great chance and the great opportunity to go and try this map for the first time, which is super cool. Once I got 100 kills, we'll probably go and hit up a nuke town just to see if we can maybe get some actual players in here. I, mean, I would love to run this VO3 pack with a bunch of peeps. Be sick. As long as they don't grab these tags, we're going to be golden. Oh, I got a reload. What was I doing? <laughs> And you know, another really crazy thing that I haven't really talked about, which I find super, super funny, is, like, a lot of people talk about how crazy Black Ops 6 is going to be with, like, their Omni movement and all this stuff. And don't get me wrong, I love the Omni movement in that game. Like, honestly, it's probably one of my favorite things about the new COD coming out. But, uh, I'm not going to lie. You know, the sliding and everything, like, we've had this in VR for so long. So it almost feels like I'm able to kind of translate the things that I've done in VR and almost put that to the flat screen with Black Ops 6, which is super freaking cool. Like, if I want to go slide over here, we can do it, baby. The only thing that's different is, like, you know, being able to swan dive in whatever direction. Being able to run and slide sideways, like, we've had this in VR for years, man. Actual years. But I wonder how much that Omni movement is going to get nerfed in the future because, oh, my Lanta man, in the beta, it was... It was pretty crazy what you could actually do. Like, just the movement speed and everything, man. It just, it felt really good. And I hope they keep it where it's at. But obviously enough, there's probably going to be some people out there that just absolutely hate it. Like, they, they want to be nerfed, whatever. Which is probably all the super camp heavy, you know, head glitch people and all that stuff. But for me, man, I really, really enjoyed the Omni movement. Like, I just, I couldn't get enough of it. I wanted to be running around sliding. And it just keeps you... Keeps you on your feet. It's super quick. And I don't know. It's just fun, man. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that these Call of Duty maps run way too freaking well in VR. Like, they have no reason playing as good as they do. And I'm just... I'm stoked about it, man. Can I jump over it? <gasps> yes! Okay. We can keep this game going. I just want some more practice with this Gouda. Because, yeah, this thing is... Honestly, probably the best SMG right now that I have used in this pack. But yeah, guys, you're gonna have to let me know if you do enjoy this style of content and if you want to see more kind of like this. Because for the most part, I really enjoy keeping my content pretty raw. It shows you exactly what you're gonna get if you go and play this game. Back in the Call of Duty days, this was all that I would do. It was high pace edits, showing like the cool clips and kills and just enjoying the time and usually keeping them about like 10 minutes long. But for our recent videos, man, I mean, I've seen some of these videos go up to, you know, almost two hours long. You know, I'm talking to you. Oh my goodness. I'm talking to you, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. It's so weird seeing the Black Ops 3 guns on the BO1 version of Nuketown, but hey, man, we're doing our thing. Also, the reload feels a little bit off on the VMP. Like I almost have to put it behind the gun for it to go in. Because if I try to shove it in the normal way, Oh, now, now it's doing it. So if you guys want to see more content like this, like, be sure to go and drop a comment down below. I legit read every comment that I see on these videos. Ooh, wait a minute. My have a new favorite gun. Let's see how much it takes for a headshot. It's got to be one shot, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, this thing with the laser sight might be uh, a little bit... I want to say the nicest part about doing these bot lobbies is being able to like feel out these packs and just kind of learn the weapons, man. Because a lot of the time when I'm playing multiplayer, I'm almost resorted to using the best guns in a way. And it just feels like most of the time I'm kind of just going back to my same loadout that works compared to, you know, just testing out these new gun builds and just seeing what it's like. You know what I mean? 
Oh my goodness, you are eating up these shots of the Weevil Knievel. Let me reload, please. Ah! Oh my god. I was right beside him this entire time. I'm gonna pretend like I definitely knew what I was doing. Okay, I meant to do that. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna make it for this video here on Contractors VR. If you guys wanna see some more content made on the game, and possibly even some like other Call of Duty mods, be sure to let me know what you guys have been enjoying seeing on the channel. Like, definitely Black Ops 3 is on the list. I want to do more BO3. Like, BO3 has been an absolute blast to try. And I feel like there's not enough people really playing it. Black Ops 3 is definitely on the list. I want to do some more Modern Warfare packs. I mean, dude, there's just so much potential for different content to be made on this pack. And, like, eventually, you know, who's to say that someone won't develop, like, a leveling system where you could actually save your progression in the game? But with that being said, guys, that's going to be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Laters! I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I fixed it! I wouldn't no. die! Well, no, right no. here. No! <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon! Oh, yeah. yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences!